Welcome to the Fiddle Tune Challenge. I'm so excited you've decided to join us. Um, we're going to be learning the A part of Oriole Hornpipe, which I learned off of Benny Thomason from his Hornpipes albums in 1967. This one's in the key of A, and this A part sounds like this. Let us know either on Facebook or send, a, send us an email and we will send you the B part to this tune and we can have everyone kind of learning it at the same time and we'll see who's able to kind of make it through the tune together. So let's learn this A part. We're going to start it with, um, if you're one for chops, you can add chops. It's A on your E string and C sharp on your A string. So you'll do bow to your top, sticker if you have one, or just to the top of your bow, and then you're going to start with this triplet pickup. Try it with me. Good. And that should take you to the bottom sticker or the bottom part of your bow. And then you're going to do that kind of rocking pattern. Let's try it together. Good, let's try it with the triplet. One, two, three. Good, and we're gonna add one more note on that phrase, which is just back to the A. It'll sound like this. One more time together. Two, three. Good, now we're gonna do an up bow slur from there. Together. Good, and then drop down to your first finger. And you'll notice it's that same kind of pattern, just starting on a different note. Good. And now we're going to add a slur again. That's your open E and then roll to your A string. Good. So up till now, here's what we have. Good. And you can think of that as the first of four chunks that we'll play in this A part. So the next chunk starts on C sharp. And I know that's a lot, but I play it because it's all notes in the A arpeggio. So if you practice those, you'll recognize these. Starts on C sharp, drops down to A, and then we go to E drop to C sharp, and then finally to A. For a backwards arpeggio. So. Good. And in this next section, you'll notice a lot of scales. It sounds like this. Descending A scale here. And stop on that note. So together, it sounds like this. Good. And now we're halfway through the part already. And so, you know, in fiddle tunes, once you get halfway through the part, 
The second half is often very similar, and you'll find that's the case here. We're gonna jump all the way from our D string back to the E string, so that's a little challenging here, but make sure you just roll your bow over and everything else is business as normal. And the second half sounds like this. So that third chunk is the same as the first chunk. And here's our wind up. It's gonna sound a little bit different. So let's break that down. We're starting on C sharp. And we'll play those together. Go. Good, and we're gonna jump to F sharp, and we're gonna descend. Let's do that together. Good old hornpipe wind up right here. So that whole fourth chunk will sound like this. Listen once and then we'll play it together. Good. Let's try it together. Starting C sharp, here we go. Let's walk through these four sections one more time together and then we'll finish up by playing the whole part. Here's your first section. Remember you can do chops if you want and then we're going to go up bow triplet pickup notes. together. Two, three, pickups. Good. Let's get this second half. Remember, the third chunk is the same as the first. second half one more time together before we try the whole part. Ready? Go! There we go. Okay, as we're going through this final time, Take a moment to check in, reset all your technique. If you're a little tense, let that go. And then remember, the bowing is just as important as the notes. So as you're practicing this and as we play this together this last time, be sure that you're following the slurs that I'm doing because this is part of what will give you that really authentic sound we're working towards. Let's try the whole A part with chops. One, two, three, four.
job. If you've made it through the A part, congrats. Let us know and we will be sending out the B part soon. Thanks for participating in this fiddle tune challenge. And if you're looking for more ways to stay occupied, you can always visit us on fiddleschool.com. Thanks.